Khazana Nasnyo Berhad had announced a 6 billion ringgit recovery plan to rescue Malaysian Airline System Berhad, or MAS. The restructuring plan will involve a comprehensive overhaul of the airline to make it leaner and more efficient. The ailing national carrier will face a 30% cut in workforce, downsizing from 20,000 to 14,000 employees. MAS will also focus on profitable regional routes instead of loss-making long-haul destinations. The recovery plan, titled Rebuilding a National Icon, the MAS Recovery Plan, was announced by Kazana's Managing Director, Tan Sri Azman Mokhtar, at a media briefing. Azman stressed that the plan is not a bailout because Kazana expects to recover the 6 billion ringgit as it targets MAS to be profitable again within three years of delisting and to relist it in the next three to five years. The plan will also create a new company to which the workforce of the existing company will migrate to. Of the 6 billion ringgit, 1.4 billion ringgit will be allocated for the delisting of MAS. Restructuring and retrenchment costs of the old company will amount to 1.6 billion ringgit. Finally, Kazana will progressively inject 3 billion ringgit fresh capitals into creating the new MAS. Azman said while MAS goes into incubation status, it is not suitable to be complying with rules and regulation, thus the need to go private. He also noted that the MH370 and MH17 tragedies have made it more relevant for the airline to undergo major restructuring. I think ironically and sadly, I think the events, the recent tragic events, as well as the ongoing difficulties at mass has actually created a perfect storm that is, that is allowing this, this restructuring to take place. As mentioned, the underlying tension because of this restructuring is really trying to balance Malaysia's desire and Malaysians' desire, if I could add, about having a national carrier. They want it to be revived. On the other hand, myself and my colleagues at Kazana entrusted with this task, we have to balance that obviously against the prudent use of public funds. The current MAS CEO, Ahmad Jauhari Yaya, will continue to lead the company during the transition period over the next 10 months to July 1, 2015. At the same time, Kazana has begun searching for the airline's new chief, from local and global talents, as well as the aviation industry. Meanwhile, the National Wealth Fund suggests keeping the brand name of Malaysia Airlines after conducting public sentiment polls. After reeling from six consecutive quarter losses since 2012, MAS yesterday made another loss of 307 million ringgit for the second quarter of this year. The national carrier's fate was made worse after MH370's disappearance en route to Beijing on March 8th, and MH17 was shot down over eastern Ukraine on July 17th. Kazana, which now holds 69.3% of MAS, needs to have 100% ownership of the airline before the rescue plan can move forward. Towards the end, the airline recently announced a selective capital reduction and repayment exercise at an offer price of 27 cents per share. Jacqueline Peng, DHTV.